six-tailed asteroid. We were literally dumbfounded when we saw it. By Gemma Lavender, 11 November 2013. Just when comets were the only space rocks thought to have tails, along comes asteroid P-2013-P5. Multiple tails were discovered in Hubble images taken on 10th September this year. Yet, when Hubble returned to the asteroid later on in the month, the asteroid's appearance had totally changed. Multiple tails were discovered in Hubble images taken on 10th September this year. Yet, when Hubble returned to the asteroid later on in the month, the asteroid's appearance had totally changed. Is it a comet? Is it an asteroid? Well, it's a bit of both, according to a team of astronomers who captured the rear side of a lump of space rock radiating with an impressive six comet-like tails using NASA slash ESA's long-serving Hubble Space Telescope. From Earth, we usually see moving debris as points of light, but this object, designated P-2013-P5 and of which has rocked up from our solar system's asteroid belt, is really something else. We were literally dumbfounded when we saw it, says David Jui at the University of California who is the lead investigator of the asteroid that resembles a rotating lawn sprinkler. However, it wasn't always this way. Astronomers first clapped eyes on the asteroid back in August where it appeared as a fuzzy point of light in a survey conjured up by the Pan Stars 1 telescopes located in Hawaii. It wasn't until September that P-2013-P5 began showing its true colors as it morphed into its freakish six-tailed glory. Even more amazing, its tail structures change dramatically in just 13 days as it belches out dust, Judas. These spokes, according to his team, are made of fine green dust, ranging from anywhere between 10 to 100 micrometers. That also caught us by surprise. It's hard to believe we're looking at an asteroid. So what is the likely explanation? Jessica Agarwal of the Max Planck Institute in Landau, Germany, isn't too sure but is, alongside you at working on it to find out. We keep observing the asteroid to see how it changes over the next months and we keep refining our models to better understand what is going on, she tells all about space. One thing we would really like to know is if the dust was ejected in a plane which would strongly support the picture of a fast-spinning asteroid. Agarwal is the first to admit that getting to the bottom of white P-2013-P5, which will remain on its near-circular orbit around the Sun currently some 220 million kilometers from Earth, is acting so strangely is a difficult task. The different tails we see in the Hubble images are not related to active areas on the surface as in a classical comet, she says. Our data do not allow us to say anything on where on the nucleus the material came from. But that doesn't mean that, while they wait, they haven't been speculating about the 480 meter diameter asteroid's plumes of dust. We hypothesis that the dust came from the equatorial region where the centrifugal force is strongest, Agarwal says. But once the particles have left the immediate vicinity of the asteroid, their motion is driven by solar radiation pressure and gravity only. As for the many tails, she suggests that the ejections didn't occur steadily, but rather as six separate outbursts at differing times. The precise reason why these outbursts occurred at the times we measured still need to be investigated, she says. As for the future of this asteroid, Agarwal believes that its outbursts 
could be a sign of things to come, namely its death. The jets will not cause the asteroid to fly apart, but they could be signs it is breaking up as a consequence of fast rotation. The asteroid is possibly a member of the so-called Thora family, says Gawa when asked where this asteroid is likely to have come from. This is an ensemble of asteroids that likely are the remnants of a much larger asteroid that broke apart in a collision 200 million years ago.